Hello and welcome to my next Gundam model review. And today I'll be reviewing the 1144 scale Wing Gundam Zero Custom in the Endless Waltz High Grade series. And this is the first in the Endless Waltz uh, High Grade series. And it's an older kit released in 1996 at the price of 1000 yen. And let's first open up the box and see what's inside. And let's look at the manual. The front shows the kit in its completed form. And the instruction manual is pretty neat for the Endless Waltz series. I mean, because of the timeline and it shows all the events in the Endless Waltz OVA slash movie. And then it shows all some of the poses that this model can take and the signature pose of the Wing Gundam Zero Custom and here are the parts lists and the instructions and the back shows more of the poses and the color guide First, let's look at the parts. Here are the polycaps. And as you can see, this is an older kit, so the hands are polycaps. And there are a lot of interesting polycaps in this kit that you don't really see in newer high grades, which is pretty interesting. Here is the gray trait, which this is the D-plate, which is mostly just the weapon, beam rifle. Here are the white parts for the legs, part of the wings, the arms, the shoulders, the skirts, the head. And here is the most colorful plate. This is the A-plate with the four different colors, the reds, the blues, the gray and the one yellow V fin. And they are the typical colors of main Gundams that you normally see. But the blue is a little bit darker than most other Gundams, though. And it's a nice array of different colors. And here is the white for the wings. As you can see, there's just two main pieces for the wings for I mean for each wing and so you probably you won't get much like mobility and articulation from the wings itself that you see in other grades of this kit of this Gundam for example the perfect grade or the master grade and even the one one hundredth version and here are the stickers. There's rel relatively a, lar a large amount of stickers, but not as many as some other kids have seen. So there's going to be the yellow stickers for the shoulder, the green stickers, the camera stickers, some of the blue on the skirts, the blue on the front, and the red on the skirt, and what you don't see in more modern kits is the chin sticker which I do not like these chin stickers but they're pretty common in older kits and I would probably recommend painting them but for my review I, I will just be using all the stickers and putting this kit together and we'll see how it looks when I'm done so see you then hello there's a quick thing I forgot to mention now I would like to say before I have this built, this kit built, and it's that the pl white plastic for the wings is actually quite flexible, and a lot more flexible than the rest of the kit. And even though the wings are just solid pieces, they actually bend quite a lot. So that is kind of interesting. And so are the plastic pieces for the 
Beam Saber, so they can bend as well. Which is kind of cool. And that is all I wanted to mention, and I'll see you when I have this kit built.